everyone, I'm really excited because I know that I have watched a lot of Tati videos and she talks about this Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder all of the time so I thought I would give it a whirl. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I put on my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Buff Bisque 366C. Um, just trying to honestly like use it up. I hate waste, wasting foundation. I'm not going anywhere today so I thought if it didn't look very good by the end of the day it's not a big deal. Normally I, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I'm obsessed with my Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation from Unique and right now I'm wearing the shade Velour with a little bit of taffeta mixed in. So I already pulled off the protective seal from this. I grabbed this when I went to Walmart today. I couldn't believe they had it. They actually had quite a bit. So I'm just gonna tap some of that powder, hopefully into the lid. Let's see, yep. Not as much as what I want, but I'm just gonna go in. This is my, from Unique, my large beachfront brush. Oh yeah, I definitely need a lot more. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It has a little bit of a perfume smell to it, which I was not expecting. So um, heads up on that in case you're not big into a uh, perfumey, like floral type scents. And just dusting this all over, I did go ahead and put on my um, just foundation. I haven't done anything else yet. I feel like it definitely toned things down from a uh, <laughs> foundation was very dewy and now everything is really matte, but that's personally how I like it. And like I said, the only thing that I'm not super crazy about is that it looks maybe a little powdery and also the smell. I'm not crazy about that floral smell. That's not really my my jam. So I definitely will play around with this um, and also try it with my Unique foundation to see how I like it with that since that's what I wear the majority of the time. So I'll be back. Using the Cody Airspun for a couple of days now. And um, the one thing that I have found is that it does make you very powdery looking. And I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing um, if if you are somebody that likes a more matte finish, this is going to be a good option for you. But I also do feel like it is not translucent. Like my translucent setting powder, it truly is, does not change like the shade of your foundation by any means. I do think that this kind of mattifies and gives you a lighter color. Uh, so that's something to just kind of keep in mind. I haven't gone in and done my contouring and, and all that good stuff. So that's the way that I like to bring warmth and color back into my face. But that's just one thing I've noticed. And like I said before, I'm not super crazy about the smell. But if you're looking to give like a setting powder a try, I don't think that it's a bad option. So there you have it. If you have any questions about the uh, the Cody Airspun loose face powder, please don't hesitate to ask. If you like these types of videos where I do a tutorial, give you kind of my thoughts, come back and check in with you, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that way anytime I post a new video, you are notified. Have a great day.